Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, we are going to talk about what is a string in Python. So, if you haven't watched my previous video, I would suggest ki go and watch out the previous video and then come to this video. So, let's get started for today's video. The topic is a string. So, first, we will see what is a string. Test is a string data type. Any data type written as a test is a string. Okay. Any data under single, double, or triple quotes are a string. They are different methods and built-in functions to deal with a string data type. Let's say to check the length of the string, we use len method. Now this is a formula or the way to create or to to initialize a string. Okay. And we will see in our you know in next uh, a couple of minutes. And then there is a method of string concatenation when we want to join more than two string, more than two string, then that is called a string concatenation. Let's say you can see first name is Sagar and last name is Spring, is, uh, last name is Prajapati. Now, if I want to join these two things, then I will use first name plus, plus symbol, last name, okay? Then we have a topic of escape sequence in string. Then you can see like in Python and other programming language backslash followed by a character is an escape sequence. So in this case, slash n means new line. Slash t means tab. Double slash means backslash. Suppose you want to add a single character, a single quote in your string, then we will use backslash and quote single code likewise if you want to add a double quotes in your string then we will use backslash double quotes and so on okay then we have a, a topic a string formatting so there are different type of uh, method by which we can do a form a string formatting let's say uh, there is a method called you know uh, method called percent operator S means string, D means integer, F means uh, floating point, number and percent point and then number of digit. Let's say point 2F, it means floating point number with fixed position. Then we have a method called dot format. Okay, we can use this method also. And then we have a method of this F wala thing. We will see it like this, you know, like this F string, we call it. And it, it got you know installed in the python above then 3.6 version okay we'll see so let me open my whiteboard so let's say let's say i have this just a minute let me undo it hmm. okay now if i am writing here first underscore name and let's say the value of this is Sagar okay and here the last underscore name is equal to Prajapati correct now if I want to concat like if I want to add these two variables or these two string what would i use i would i would use plus operator okay so it means first underscore name plus last underscore name okay this is uh, this is done cool now there was a topic there was a topic of uh, what was the topic formatting right we will see formatting so suppose you want to write this first name then what i can do for print i can use this f okay i will not show you here it's better to open a visual studio and then i will show you so let me just run this cool it is right now yeah so let's say i am having a first name is equal to sagar and then last underscore name is equal to what praja 
Pati. Now if I want to add it, so in short, what I will do, I will just use this and uh, uh, here last name and here is the first name. So just replace this last two first and let me run this. Wow, you can see this Saga Pijapati printed. Now, what if I want to do, if I want to do a formatting, right? If I want to do a formatting, then what would I do is that I will write print here, F this and use a curly braces, then in curly braces, I can use this first name. So, boom, you can see uh, Saga got printed, right? Saga got printed, that is fine. Okay, boss. Let me do one thing. Hmm. Yeah, see, you can see Saga got printed, right? So let me just comment this because we do not need now. And there's another way to do is that I will use this zero. Okay. And then I can use this format method. So in this format method, inside this, I have to write the variable name, which I want to print it. So if I run this, then you can see Saga also printed over here. Okay, this is the second way. Now the third way is, and it is a very old way, is that like I can use this percent as, okay, percent as, then percent, uh, percent here I, 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 I have to use my variable name that is first name. So if I print it, then you can see Saga also printed over here. Uh, why it is not coming above? Uh, just give me a minute. You can see Saga got printed over here. Correct. Now let me just uh, comment all these things and then we will see escape character wala thing, right? So escape sequence we can see. So here what I will do, I will let's say I am writing here print. Uh, uh, let's say I am printing here Saga. So if I run this, it got printed. Suppose I want to use Sagas, you know, like this. So you can see here, this error comes, right? So if I try to run this program, this will fail, right? So what, how can I do? There, there is a two way, like the basic, the, the basic way is that what I can do, I can write like this, uh, concat, you know, I can do a concat and uh, concat say we also, no, no, they, no, no, from concat it not, it, it can't be done. So what I will do, I will use here, backslash backslash comma and i will use this s uh, i hope it will work we'll see see you can see <coughs> you can see here i got the output i got a output sagas okay so uh give me a minute Not like this. Enable preview. Enable preview editor. Okay, cancel this. I do not need it actually. Uh, run debug. Mm. Uh, the way it is printing, I need to change some setting but i'm not getting the option just a minute hmm fine right so if i run this then you will see oh saga okay fine cool that's not a problem uh just a minute if i do Cool, right? This is also done. 
now what i will do what i will show you let's say i want to add a double quotes right so i will use simple double quotes and if i run this then you will see this saga double quotes has come now what is what will happen like if i if i want to use this uh, you know double uh, double backslash then a single backslash comes cool now what i will show you now what i will show you uh, now what i will show you is that okay let's go back We have seen these things, okay. Now, if you can see unpacking character, so there is a variable called language, and the value of language is Python, okay. And now, what they have done is like like they have created this A B C D E F variable, and they are storing this variable. Now, if you can see, if I print A, then the value of print, uh, like the value of A is assigned, assigned. Uh, I mean, uh, the value of A is P, B is Y, C is uh, T. D is H and so on. Okay, that's cool. Now we will see the indexing. What is indexing? What is Python? Uh, you know, slicing. What is slicing in uh, Python? And then we will see some predefined functions. So this is the most important topic. Then uh, you know of Python of uh, string. Then you know you just uh, listen or you know just watch watch from this till the end. So. Let me take my pen. Cool. Let's say I have this sagar string. Okay. Now this sagar, this sagar is being stored in Python or in memory like this. <coughs> Having uh having a, a memory or we can say you know uh, uh like uh, yeah memory only like this zero one two three four in reverse order it is like minus two minus three minus four and minus five from the starting it starts from zero from the back from the end it is starting from minus one okay now if i want to let's say the value i mean this is stored in some variable let's say s1 now if i want to access g then what i will do i will just write 2 or i can write s1 minus 3 let's say i want to get the last element of this string then I can use minus 1 or else I can use s1 len of s1 okay s1 l, l, s1 minus 1 okay like this now this is kind of indexing now I'll talk about I'll talk about the indexing what sorry I'll talk about I will talk about the slicing so let's say i want to access i want to access from s to g so what can i do i can write simply s1 of 0 colon 3 so this 3 is the explicit okay it it is not included so the output would be s a g if I write like this, I can write like this also. No need to write 0. The by default value is 0 only. Suppose I want to write, I want to get output a g g a r. So what I will do, I will write s1 of 2 colon. Okay. Or I can write 5 is equal to s1 minus 3 till this so these both will return the same output okay now we have some predefined functions 
So let me open my this uh, editor. And first I will show you the indexing thing. So if I write here print of first name of zero. So it will print S. Okay. Uh, let me open a new file video for uh, new dot py and here let me initialize this first underscore name is equal to uh, Sagar and here let me just write down this first name of zero. Uh, it is not printing. Now you can see S is printed, right? Now what I will do, I will just write down here first name of minus one. Then it should print me R. S R got printed. Now, if I just write some random value, let's say first underscore name of like four. So it should give me also R. Okay. Now we'll, see, we'll talk about the slicing. I will write here print first name of let's say one to four. So the output should be a g a let me run this a g a okay now print a uh, first name of let's say i want to print i want to print uh, a g a r so i will use this a colon nothing so it, it should print a g a r the second way to do the same thing is that first name minus one minus two minus three minus four minus four to zero not zero till the end so the result is same a g a r okay cool then we have some predefined functions also Okay, we have some predefined functions. Uh, so, what is this? Let me comment it. We have a function of len of len. Okay, so it will return the length of the string. Five. Cool. Then we have a function print. Uh, Let's say I want to convert, I want to convert this first uh, name, I mean this string into the capital letter, uppercase letter. Then I will use first name dot lower. Sorry, not lower, my bad, upper. Sagar. Let's say I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to uh, find out find out what is the index of G. So what I will do, I will write just string dot find and here I will pass a character. Let's say G I am passing. So it should return me 2. 0, minus 1, minus 2. Sorry, 0, 1, 2. Cool. Now if I am writing here print first underscore name dot uh, replace so it will replace from this to this so first parameter should be the string or the character which is which has to be replaced let's say i am i want to replace a with hash so i am printing like this and if i run this then you will see the output is same. So let me delete the whole window and now let me run this again. You will see the output is same. The output is S hash G hash R. 
Now, let's say, let's say there is something called list is present and the value is not value, my the value is my name as a not sorry. Uh, I will show you like this, right? Okay, cool. So I will write here print first underscore name dot split. So what does split do? It will split the string based on this uh, character. So right now I am I want to split this into with 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 the spaces without I mean empty space right. Mm, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, let's say I want to replace with character A for now. It is printed like SGR. Now, if I want to join this on basis of A, let's say, let's assume if I want to, if I want to join this and you know that the type of this is, the type of this is list. Okay. Now what I will do, I will write down, I will write down this join and here I will use my joining thing. If I run this, then you will see we have Sagar printed. So if I take another example, let's say there is a string, there is a, there is a list and where the value is let's say s a g a r okay and if i want to if i want to you know if i want to join this list or if i want to convert this list into the string then what i will do i will use my join method so dot join simply and write down here the list so what does it mean it is joining on basis of empty spaces so if i run this then saga is printed let's say i want to join on basis of some hyphen so if i run this then you can see every in like after every character after every character we have this you know we have this uh, symbol okay like we do have multiple uh, we have we well, like we do have multiple methods present over here let's say i'll find and then we have is digit is null and all those things are uh, there but i have shown you what are being used very frequently let's say you know replace join is lower is upper and all those things i have told you like there's a method of start with check if string start with a specified string or not like there are multiple ways to do uh, you know there are multiple methods and all these methods are available over python you do not need to write any code and uh, uh, yeah that's for this that's for what today's video i hope you have understood the concept and maybe in the in the in, in the upcoming video i will show you the show you more more predefined function in my in my uh, video and yeah that's it for today's video i hope you have understood and if you do do like and share